Hey everybody, John here. Uh, I wanted to give you a brief look at a new web browser for the iPad called Terra. And when you launch it, you get a blank window here. You see it loaded up pretty pretty fast. So what I can do here is I can go in and type something. You know, I can I can go to yahoo.com And you can see that loads up here pretty much the same speed as the Safari browser for most pages. Other pages load a little faster. So I've got this open, but where this where this app really shines is in this 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 plus button right there. So when I tap that, now a new tab opens up. And I can go to another web page. Let's just go to uh Let's go to New York Times. So this is really cool. It loads that up really fast and I'm going to go ahead and open another tab and we'll use the bookmarks bar right here. You can see the bookmarks bar is actually integrated into the actual area of the web page when you're about to type something in. So I can just hit Apple here and load up Apple.com. So now I can just switch back and forth between these tabs. And as you can see, there's no loading time. It doesn't reload as much as Safari does when you open a new window. I think it must be freeing up some memory and dedicating it solely to this app more than Safari does. That's the only guess that I have because normally Safari can only keep one or two things open at the same time before it starts to reload. But this, as you can see, works very well. Aside from that little hiccup there. Speaking of hiccups, the only thing that I noticed was that when you want to zoom in and out of a web page, it's it sometimes stutters. So when I zoom in, it works great. But then when I zoom out, See how it stuttered right there? It's that's kind of annoying, but not too bad since most most of the time you're not zooming in and out of pages that much. Oh, see there it reloaded. So it's depending on the web page you do and what kind of content you're viewing. Sometimes it does reload. If I switch back to Apple, that's still there. So it it is more versatile than uh, than Safari in some respects. A little bit slower on certain things like the pinching to zoom, and sometimes it loads web pages slightly slower. And my comparison test loaded most pages the same speed as uh, Safari. Um, but other than that, it's it's really neat. And there's also a full screen mode. So if I go up in the top right corner here. There's a there's a full screen mode. So it actually gets rid of the menu bar, and you can just you can just browse here in full screen without having to worry about anything obstructing your view. A little, little extra feature there. I can bring it back. Another really neat feature that you can do here, which is one of the it may not sound like a big deal, but it is because if you ever go to certain websites, it forces you into a mobile version of the website because the iPad sends it out as saying, hey, I'm a mobile version of Safari, so it goes to a mobile version of the website. Well, with Terra, I can click this little settings icon right here, and my menu pops up, and I can actually tell it to identify as Safari Mobile, Mac OS 10, IE6, or Firefox, which is really neat if you're ed editing things like Google Docs or going to certain websites that always direct you to a mobile page. Um, you can tell it, hey, I want to be Mac OS 10 Safari, and then it'll always send you to a regular page. So a pretty neat feature if you have specific needs uh, that aren't being met with the Safari web browser that's built in. So that was a brief overview of Terra web browser for iPad. It's free on the App Store, it's highly rated, and I suggest you guys all go check it out.